Hey, are you feeling tired? Burnt out? Not sure why? Well here, take this. It'll fix all your problems. Now, this video isn't that kind of video, but the solution to your burnout is that simple. Let me tell you how. Over the past week, I haven't been feeling quite as energetic as I normally am. Normally I'd go to salsa dancing three times a week. I'd go to gym five days a week and try to progressively you know, push more and more, progressive overload. But for some reason, this week, I just couldn't do it. I just couldn't push my numbers up. I couldn't bring myself to going to dancing as much as I normally do. And even when I was there at the gym or dancing, I just felt tired, like I was out of it a bit. So I took a step back and reflected, why is this the case? Why am I now feeling tired when the past 10 weeks even, I was feeling amped up, energized, ready to go, ready to dance. And then it hit me. I think I'm getting burnt out. Lo and behold, that was the case. And the only way that I was able to actually reflect and find out is when I took a step back. I took a step back and for a whole week after that realization, I tuned everything back. I went to the gym less times per week. I went to dancing less times per week. And even when I did go to the gym, my workout was a lot less intense than it was before. I decided to have a deload week. And this deload week is actually what got me to make this video in the first place. It's what gave me the idea of burnout, of taking a rest, of taking a step back. For experienced lifters, it's quite common to take a deload week. This is done in order to take a rest physically and mentally so that once they're feeling refreshed and reinvigorated, they can re-attempt their goals and make more progress. So then why don't we incorporate this same mentality to our everyday lives? It might not be the same thing as going to the gym and you know scheduling in your rest every single day, but there are certain things you can do every day or certain things you might choose not to do every day that will give you the opportunity to rest, to deload in your daily life. And this is where we can use that same principle to address our burnout and ideally prevent it from happening in the first place. Because as we know, prevention is the best cure. So during this time, what do you do? How do you ensure that you're still being productive? Because I know a lot of you out there who are watching this video probably feel like taking a rest or taking a step back. You feel like you're doing nothing. You feel like you're achieving nothing. And that isn't the case. It's a common misconception that when you're kind of resting and you're recovering, that you're making no progress, but that's where most of the progress is made. Whether it's a skill you're learning or whether it's working out at the gym, resting allows your body time to recover, therefore getting stronger and more muscles, or mentally when you're learning a new skill, a language, whatever it is, it gives your mind the opportunity to absorb that information and really utilize it appropriately so that you actually learn the skill or T trade that you're trying to learn. During this deload week, during this time you take to take a step back, you can use that as an opportunity to reflect on the things that you're doing. Ask yourself, why do I do this? Why do I actually enjoy going to the gym? Is it because I'm trying to get stronger? Is it because I'm trying to get bigger? Is it because I'm trying to stay fit? Whatever the reason, just make sure that you know the reason why, because that helps motivate you to continue doing it when you do return to doing it at 100%. And the second thing that taking a step back allows you to do is that it gives you the opportunity to try other things. For example, during this past week where I've been deloading, it's given me the opportunity to read more, to journal more. I've even gone out and purchased miniature painting kits. So I bought primers, varnish, brushes, paint, everything, all in the aim of painting my figurines for one of my board games, Blood Rage. And this is something that I normally wouldn't potentially have time for or something that I normally wouldn't endeavor to do. But taking this rest, taking this step back has given me that time, the opportunity to try other things. I find that even though you might not be engaging in your said occupation as much as you normally would, a deload week gives you that opportunity to reinvigorate that spark. You might know the feeling. For example, when you haven't done something in a while, which you normally would do as part of your daily routine, you start to get that craving, that urge to return to doing it. Those of you who go to the gym regularly will know that feeling. After a day or two, your body kind of wants to do it. It really wants to go and re-engage in what you were doing. A deload week helps you get that same fire for whatever it is that you were burnt out from. Whether it's work, whether it's the gym, whether it's socializing, 
You take that rest, you take a week off, and I guarantee you, after that week, you're gonna to wanna to go back and do everything at 110%. You're gonna feel more motivated and more reinvigorated to do it as well. So long story short, answering the first question of this video, how do you actually address your burnout? How do you actually prevent it from happening? Take a deload week in your life, in the gym, in your social life, at work. We can't always push ourselves at 100% and that's okay. We're only human after all. It's the same thing. When you're driving a car, you can't keep pushing that car at 100%. Otherwise, it'll break down sooner than it was supposed to. So do yourself a favor. If you feel yourself getting burnt out, if you feel yourself getting demotivated, tired, and you're not sure why, take a step back, reflect. Why is it like this? Why am I tired? Usually I love doing this thing, but right now I can't bother at all. And it might just be that you need to take a break, take a rest, and that's okay. If you like the contents of this video and would like to see future videos about health, fitness, life, and motivation, please feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, look after yourselves and peace.